appearances over the first three years of their NFL career than Blake Bortles' 11. Obviously, that has to change, and Bortles discussing the criticism he's faced and moving on from what was a disastrous 2016. You know, it's that saying, like, what have you done for me lately? Well, that's our lately. That's my lately. So uh, until we get a chance to go, uh, you know, play again in September and, and change that narrative, um, that's who we are. So we, we got a long ways to go to fix that uh, and change that. And it's going to, you know, take place over the next couple months. Teddy, does that sound good or bad to you? I'm going to say this sounds good because he's only thinking forward. He's, right. he's, he's acknowledging what he's done, how he's played poorly, throwing all those pick sixes really owning it himself and then realizing he's got to change the narrative and he's the main reason why. So I think that's good in, carts, in stark contrast to someone who's living in the past like an Oswaller and saying, <laughs> I've like, been good enough. Yeah, that's yeah, all I've needed. That's all I've needed to do. Yeah. Look at me now. This guy is saying the right things, and he's, I think he's ready to do the right things. We will see, and like he said, September. We'll see yeah. what he does. And to be fair to Blake. Not to sure be, how he feels about Oswaller. I well, with tell. Look, you, it, well, I mean, it was kind of a silly thing to say. Let's just be clear about that. But to, to Bortles' credit, look, he knows he's got to change the interceptions, but he's not the only problem there. This team has drafted in the top five six straight years. No one in NFL history had ever drafted in the top five in six straight years. In fact, no one had done it five straight years for the Jaguars did it the previous year. So it, it's been a combined effort.